Hey guys and welcome back and today I want to show you guys a little handy tip about the MR2200 AC Synology router. In fact, I'm talking about all Synology routers up to date that use SRM, the Synology Router Management Software that's included with every one of their routers. Now, a little while ago, I was deploying a new office setup, as you can probably see here, and I decided to invest in a 4G router. I was going to take advantage of mobile um, sims and basically the flexibility of that so I could take the internet on the go but also deploy in a location like this. For those who weren't aware it was on my TP-Link MR600 review that I published a little while ago. But while doing that I found out a fun little trick to keep me going in the meantime and that was if you have a Synology NAS knocking around you can actually connect to mobile phone. You can take a mobile phone with its own 4G internet and connect this via a wire to this and therefore turn this wireless point utilizing tethering so a wired point into the Synology router and therefore make that internet accessible to anyone connecting to the router what that mean what that means is one of two things one it means that at a pinch you can ch connect your mobile phone and use your data in the office or home environment with a Synology mesh router. The second thing that's quite cool about it is as a failover. If you've got old phones knocking around, and we've all got drawers full of mobile phones, what you can do is have a phone connected to the router if you use it for business and have a SIM card in there. Maybe a pay-as-you-go, chat a tenner on there and not use it, or some sort of contract plan. And then what you've got there is a failover internet connection. You can have multiple internet connections on the router and if one fails and your business revolves around your internet connection you've got a backup one utilizing 3g or 4g now this same system works with usb dongles as well but the reason i want to talk about a phone is because we've all got phones and as long as it's connectable by a usb and it's on a compatibility list which are synology to update a great deal more than a number of other compatible devices i've got to say third party then you are working and it's going to be great. So what we're going to do today is connect this phone to this router. Now, you need to have your router already set up. You have to have gone through initialization, naming the SSID, all that sort of stuff, basically setting it up to the point where you can use it. Because if you can't, you can't use the phone really. The phone's internet signal isn't quite enough to boot this device straight from zero. It's possible, but I wouldn't recommend it given the size of the software update. So once you've got the device set up, you can have an internet connection at all times. But as you can see, this is not a device that we're using with a LAN connection at the rear. This is the USB cable we're going to be using. And the device itself is not in a mesh network. This is a single device and at the same time I'm going to be screen recording here on my laptop during the setup so when you move to the screen in a moment you will see that I'm connected to this router and there is no internet at this time and then what we're going to do is connect the phone talk you through the steps that you need to follow and then from there have this device up and running for the first time so let's make our way to this screen Right, so you can see here that I'm logged into this Synology router. And as we see down here, I have got no internet signal. I'm connected to the router, but there is no internet. Moreover, if we go to the network center, we can see that although uh, the different frequencies are enabled, there is no internet connection. There is no connected USB device. And if we make our way into the control panel, we can go all the way down to the bottom, look at the devices, and see that there is no external devices connected. So, now what I'm going to do is make my way over to the mobile phone and connect this mobile phone with its 4G connection. I'm also screen recording throughout this, and this should give us some idea what happens when it's connected. Now, on your mobile phone, the options will change depending on the device you use. In the case of my phone, what happens when I connect the device is I go down to the Android system menu while I'm screen recording there and select the option USB tethering. From here, it will then enable an option for me to set up the tethering hotspot, which is what I'm doing right now. So while I'm doing this, you can see on screen of the Synology router that the USB device has now changed to the Nexus 4. And while I leave that Wi-Fi connection running on my phone, which is now tethered to the router, we can move back into the network connections. From here, we can go back and we can already see at the bottom right of my screen 
the internet connection has been established on the Synology router. In the network center, if we head over here, we can scroll down to look at the tab for internet. And via the internet tab, we can then move over to the 3G and 4G interface. As you can see, no network cable is being detected, but at the same time, our mobile signal is detected. And although roaming is not enabled on this particular internet um, uh, phone provider and indeed internet provider on my mobile device, what I can do is then start searching the internet. So say we look up one of the routers from Synology, we can make our way in and boom, we have the internet connection. And it's as straightforward as that to set up a mobile phone to become a access point for your router utilizing the 4G tethering hotspot option. A great little option and with the added bonus that if you connect an internet connection, you can then have both of them running simultaneously for a failover. So, for example, if I go and if I go and reach my RJ45 cable, two seconds, and then move this cable, and now establish a wired connection to the WAN port of this device, like so. Probably heard that click there. What will happen now? is the system will start to acknowledge the fact that I've connected this cable. So at the moment, it cannot detect the network cable, but that is shortly going to change. If we refresh this page, the system will start interacting and adding this second internet connection to our Synology router, the MR2200AC. And now, of course, we have two internet connections. And these two internet connections mean we have both a standard internet connection and a failover. So in the event that one of your internet connections falters, you still have a backup. So whether you're going to utilize this, like me, to have a temporary solution for a lack of wired internet, or to have it as a failover option in the future, something I'll still do, this is still something that's worth considering and certainly a great little extra in the Synology router system. Remember, there are other USB dongles you can attach and loads of other ways you could take advantage of this router system. But otherwise, if you found this video helpful, click like. If you want to learn more about NAS in general, routers, Wi-Fi 6 and everything else in 2020, click, click subscribe and I'll see you next time.